Hey, it's Dr. Clark on the Place for Answers, and let's give your spleen some respect. The spleen, uh, much like the gallbladder and the appendix, has often been viewed as kind of a spare part when it comes to the human body. And just so you know, you're not born with any spare parts. You do need every one of those things I just said, your appendix, your gallbladder, and your spleen. What they've found out recently, what's an important research, and, you, and if you think about it, I can't really believe this hasn't been done before. The spleen is a huge reservoir for immune system cells. So like in the case of a trauma or a major infection, the spleen basically just throws, dumps these things into your system to try to help immediately calm down and squash the invader. It's kind of like having a standing army. I think this is a fantastic study, and the reason I'm telling you is I want you to think. I want you to kind of interrupt your thinking for a second and say, hey, I need my spleen. Not only do I need my spleen, I need my gallbladder, and I need my appendix. You know, if you have gallbladder inflammation, this is just my opinion, okay, the last thing you need to have done immediately, okay, is get your gallbladder taken out. You need to find out why is your gallbladder inflamed. Now, I know that takes a little bit of time, and that may be um, something you think you don't have, but investigate these things. And I love studies like this because it kind of interrupts our pattern of thinking. and says, you know, wait a minute, we're not born with any spare parts. We need everything. Your appendix, you need that. Your... Uh, Gallbladder, you need that. Your spleen, you need that too. And it's just kind of a funny, interesting little study. I know this is a kind of a short blog post today, but I wanted you to think about it and, and really kind of take that to heart. And once you have one of these things taken out, your body is altered forever. It will never work the way it's supposed to. Never. Because, for example, with gallbladder, you get your gallbladder taken out, you immediately have really worsened your chances of being able to have normal cholesterol levels and to be able to absorb fat-soluble vitamins like vitamin A, D, E, and K. And vitamin D is getting more pressed now than white bread. Vitamin D is extremely important. You're going to ruin your chances of being able to absorb fat-soluble vitamins like vitamin D if you get your gallbladder taken out. If you get your spleen taken out, then you are putting yourself at risk the next time you get sick or you get a trauma. Your body may not be able to respond the way that it was supposed to. And frankly, that may be why some people, um, when they have traumas or infections, the reason they go downhill so fast is maybe their spleen wasn't working. They didn't have the kind of standing army available to rush out there to the front line to kill those things. So i got to run. i got some patients to go see. But I wanted to share that with you, that finally your spleen is getting the respect that it deserves. So I'll talk to you next time on The Place for Answers. This is Dr. David Clark. Talk to you soon.